So, Jonathan, I understand there's been an uh, increase on the type of bullying that's been e experienced on social platforms. Is that correct? Absolutely. Well, in the UK, mm -hmm. uh, the government has finally passed the Online Safety a uh, Act. Unfortunately, <laughs> this act does nothing for the hundreds and thousands. Basically, that is my phone. Yeah. So I'm not ever scrolling through. Mm -hmm. But for almost everybody else, yeah. this is well inside your personal space. Okay. And when you get attacked and threatened with rape, with death, with abuse, that hurts mm -hmm. and hampers the mind and causes you to question and makes you feel um uh violated Absolutely. um and i i you know i set up social me too i um based it on a website everyone's invited uk mm -hmm. which is about in school sex of, uh, abuse yeah. uh this this woman was on bbc breakfast and um she came on one week told people about the website but the next week 10,000 stories of in school sexual abuse were logged on this website and the website was anonymous so I thought I'll do that for our website so you mm -hmm. haven't got to register you haven't got to put an email you haven't got to do anything you haven't even got to put your real name you can leave stories and I thought it'll go bang it'll fly and it just hasn't and I understand now better than I did when I started this enterprise, that the trauma mm -hmm. is not something the person wants to revisit. Yeah. The people sure. that have been interviewed on social me too are apart from one, all women of a certain age. Mm -hmm. And that age is the age that they have had time to process that trauma. Yeah. and can now look on it yeah I agree. but this is the trouble so mm. there are there are a couple of reasons i think that might be happening okay. okay now i like to talk about talk about the unique factor test just to give people an awareness around the type of people who will be more exposed to being attacked and they're mainly exhorters okay exhorters are the type of people who want you to feel what they feel so mm. if they're struggling with something at home, with their partner, with their parents, with whatever, that th they'll turn to a stranger to talk to them because they feel that safe. OK, now that taking emotions over logic exposes them to danger. Right. And unfortunately, whether we like it or not, there's plenty of narcissists out there just waiting OK, to find that weak point and then use it against them. And unfortunately, a lot of ladies aren't aware they're doing this to themselves. and. It is part of the healing process to tell your story. Hmm. So instead of take, sending, what they don't realize is they're not doing it in a safe place. So they're taken to things like LinkedIn. I did this. They take to places like Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or all the other TikTok type places, right? There's plenty of them out there. Hmm. Instead of confiding with one person like a coach or someone they can trust, a safe place, or like you say, an anonymous website, where other people have been through a similar experience where they can support each other. Now, that's what would be best, okay, yes. as opposed to putting yourself out there, okay, because we don't need to tell our story to everybody, but we do this, right? I'm an exhorter. Exhorters do this. It got me into a lot of trouble on my last round, mm -hmm. okay? So I didn't understand what I was doing. I was approached by a lot of narcissists, and I'm going to say that straight because they wanted to put me down. So what's a narcissist? Let's define this. A narcissist is somebody who gets energy from putting you down, okay? Right. They will either abuse you or they might turn to pornography, sex, okay? That sort of thing. And so what happens when those ladies are posting their photographs to LinkedIn, to Facebook? I'd like you to think about what they are encouraging, okay? And they're sharing those feelings. So that's what's given rise to this. So theoretically, the men can't handle the women. They think the women are there. 
And it's almost like it's like a harem of women for them out there on the Internet, which they're getting to know. Now, what's the problem with this? Relationships are a two way thing. Mm. And the, the women probably think they're just sharing, but the men are going, oh, no, I like her. I want to be with her. Right. I want to have sex with her because love and sex for a lot of people, for a lot of men, is the same side of the same coin. They can't differentiate it. So mm. understanding that men and women's brain are different goes a long way. OK, so we're not giving rise to it. So now we understand why this is happening. How do we stop it? Well, I've already suggested anonymous websites is the way forward, as opposed to posting all over social media. OK, <laughs> complaining about people. That's the first part. OK, uh, telling that story to other people who will receive you well to go. Sorry, that happened to you. You didn't deserve this. Right having support as opposed to being attacked because when you're being attacked you don't want to say it to anybody after that you shy away okay mm -hmm. so let's put it put the stories in the right place to start with so that's number one number two is is having that support like i said for somebody to come say say to you okay i am sorry this happened to you empathize sympathize with you be there for you hear you out in a positive way and number three the other part to re reprogram this brain is to say, OK, I understand why this happened to me. It's not going to happen again because one, I'm not going to post to social media. Right. I've got Jonathan's website that I can post to mm. or I have a friend or I'll write it down in a diary even. Then maybe share it and always share it with a friend or someone you trust first before you go around finding these narcissists. Because another part of reprogramming this is every time you tell that story mm. to somebody, you're sharing it. So you can make that experience either worse if you're sharing it with a narcissist and now they're using it against you. Right. You don't want to do that. Or you can make it less painful by sharing it with people who care, who are positive about that experience, who can mm. sympathize, who are there to support you. And that way, the more you tell it, the easier it becomes. And that's the healing process. And that's handling the trigger. That's what we call rehearsal. And okay. so the amygdala won't fire the next time. And we call that dissolve. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's how you would handle a complex PTSD, like a social media bullying. <laughs> Okay. It's happening everywhere. There you go. There's my ad value to you today. Well, I mean, uh, I really appreciate your doing this quick recording for me. I will post it to social me too uh, very soon. Um, mm -hmm. From your perspective, you know, we we have a fairly detailed relationship. I think it's fair to say mm -hmm. at this stage we know a lot about each other. Mm -hmm. Who? If a woman or a man is watching this on social me too, is there anything that you can offer them in this coaching them to not feed the narcissist? So yeah, is that a service that, that, you offer? That we 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 help people in lots of ways. One, the, the main part is first to understand your uniqueness. So right. once you understand your uniqueness, you can then explain it to others you are aware of your flaws so you can help yourself with your closer relationships once you start understanding their uniqueness so you don't feel like you have to walk outside of your group we can help you handle those past traumas within the family even like that rehearsal if you carry on repeating something awful that happened between you over time if both parties are ready to do this of course mm -hmm. Yeah. Then, so for instance, if you talk to a server, I'm a server. Why? If somebody says to the server, well, "You need to sit this test," I'll be like, "No, I don't. Mm. I don't want to sit this." But if if somebody says to me, "Zara, I need you to sit this test. There's a need. I want to fulfill it." This is right. understanding someone's uniqueness, and it's just switching that "I need" or "You need" can make mm -hmm. a whole difference. Absolutely. Now, imagine you're doing that with your partner or your mother or whoever you're hanging around with. Just a quick win, right? Just a quick win. Understanding someone's uniqueness can actually make those interactions within the home so much more pleasant. Yeah. And ask for what you want. Have you got time to listen to me today? 
right? Mm -hmm. As opposed to, you never listen to me, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. What yeah. was it I said, right? So how are we talking to each other? So we help people understand the communication guidelines. Mm -hmm. There are links to YouTubes on that that we can share or we can help people with understanding what that means. So making a statement about myself, I need, I feel, I think, mm -hmm. as opposed to mm -hmm. you did this. That's mm -hmm. a statement on you, Jonathan. That makes you feel rubbish, right? Mm -hmm. Jonathan, you did this. Jonathan, you know, you're responsible for that. If I say, Jonathan, I think you said this, that's softer. It is, it right? is. And we don't realize throughout the day we're doing this. Second, ask questions of others. Jonathan, did you say this? As opposed to, Jonathan, you said this. Yeah, clarify. Right? And third, answer questions. Don't, don't avoid them. So if you want to know if you're handling a narcissist or if you're dealing with a narcissist, this mm. is a tip. They will refuse to answer your questions. Oh, they will put go. it off. They will put it off. They will make an excuse. They might even come up with some polite thing. Okay. And they'll be like, um, and, in, and what you can do is um, I'm trying to understand you. Mm. Don't you want to be understood? Yes. Yes. Well, I mean, the interesting thing is that people should obviously reach out to you for this uh, coaching and understanding the challenge is always that people react rather than proact. So, uh, and I don't think you learn to live differently until you've suffered trauma. Oh yeah. Um, and then, <laughs> and you have to have recognized the trauma <clears throat> rather than just being in the middle of it. Yeah. To learn the mistakes you made. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Well, look, thank so you. For anyways, I am, I am running a series of workshops, by the way, cool. which is a fun learning um, team building session to start with. That's the initial stage. So people can start finding somebody else that they can talk to that they can trust. Mm -hmm. There's going to be one-to-one -one coaches somewhere down the line. We are then going to go into the unique factor stuff. So people can then understand all these different 49 different types of personalities or well, personalities characters out there mm. having awareness around how we talk to these different people and there's like seven sentences that help us with 96 percent of the population yeah, so that's something yeah. i'm keen to share and let's just improve those energy vibrations across the world as opposed to blaming and shaming and naming and hating each other right yes absolutely but that's the best sentiment you've come up with um thank you very much for the interview and uh tag me in when you post it and i'll reshare it and we'll do the same for each other yeah fantastic now i tend to stick it on my youtube jonathan that's fine i don't know if that's okay um or i can send it to you via we transfer and then you can send me it, yeah send me it via we transfer and I'll post it and what have you. Do you yeah. top and tail it with something? Do you have I'm not like sure an what top and no, I'm, oh. I'm pretty standard. I just tend to put the Iron Dew Matter logo at the beginning and the end. I'm pretty, I haven't got as far as getting very jazzy with my head. Okay. Just, um, feel send free to me, pack it if you like. Yeah. Well, no, Use send it. me the logo through WeTransfer as well as the video file. Okay. And I'll add your logo to it because essentially, you're supporting me because I've got my logo here. Blah, blah, blah. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to influence change Absolutely. at a relationship level. Yeah. Because, I mean, I didn't, I, I won't go through what I've been going through, but fucking hell, mate, families, they're fucking. Okay. 